funny and I just now noticed Dogman's pants are just playing in the background. Hope you enjoy that view. Today's video is a video that I have been so excited, so ready to make for so long and I'm glad that I'm finally sitting down and doing it today. Today we are going to be doing a full face of makeup. I don't know why I'm saying we as if like the royal we over here, uh, but today I'm going to do full face of makeup using all products, tools, and items that I have never used before. So if you're ready for today's video, comment down below, I'm ready, but like in a SpongeBob voice. <sighs> Ooh. I told you guys I'm obsessed first thing that we're gonna do is um, put some creamsies on our handsies because I don't know what's going on but my hands are like creepy do you know what I mean it's like so chappy why is this happening so this is a brand new cream called the water cream from Tatcha and I love this brand and they even gave me like a little spoon to spoon my products out with so I feel like I'm just gonna have to like ladle it out because how is oh Look at it. Look at it. I love products like this. It's like a little um cheesy. Do you know what I mean? It's like got the texture of like cheese. I bet that really just makes you want to use this product right now. The fact that I'm comparing it to jiggly cheese. I don't know how much I'm supposed to use. Do you guys hear like talking in the background? I swear. Like um my neighbor people, uh, they're like maybe like hollering or something in the street. I don't know what's going on out there. I'm not gonna go outside and look. You know what? I'm fiddle faddle with the spoon. I'm gonna scrape it off. I need it all. So glad that the first 10 minutes of this video is just me applying cream to my wrists. Ew, it smells good. Ugh. Also, I'm gonna pull up my hair because it's kind of annoying me and also my armpits are kind of sweating. TMI, but we're family. It's okay. Why is this happening to me? But first, we're gonna prime our faces with the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Spray. I'm gonna spray my vitamins on my face because Lord knows I'm never gonna like take vitamins. I'm just not good at like remembering vitamins. Oh, sometimes they also kind of like freak me out. Isn't there some conspiracy theory that vitamins are actually like not healthy for you? Like is that just some spooky molder kind of thought process or are they actually potentially not healthy? I really don't know what's healthy and what's not healthy. My diet basically consists of 90% french fries and um, the other 10% is coffee. So just to give you a little insight in my life. Vitamins, vitamins for my face. Ooh, it smells like slightly cinnamony which is pleasant and also frightening. We are going to use a primer. Surprising, I know. This is by the brand The Ordinary. It is the High Adherence Silicone Primer. If you guys watched my favorites video recently, I put a product in it by The Ordinary. I haven't used any of their makeup products yet, so pretty excited to try this one. It smells like nothing. Awesome. Ooh, it's white. Surprising. I thought it was gonna be clear. All right, I'm definitely just using way too much product today. I am going overboard. Aren't you supposed to apply primer in a circular motion like this? Dude, dang it. Like literally just people talking, you're distracting me from my craft kind of smells like corn. Hashtag why does my primer smell like corn? This is not like a new product on the scene, but I have never tried it before. It is the uh, Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in the, oh, my freaking fingernail just bent backwards. And you guys, I'm gonna tell you a gruesome tale. You probably can't tell what happened, but I definitely hear uh, Simply Nail Logical screaming in the background. But I was doing some hand stitching yesterday um, with an embroidery needle and I accidentally stabbed the needle through my fingernail. Like no injury happened. It's just now I have, a, I look like I pierced my thumbnail. Cool. You guys, I should have really thought about not moisturizing my hands because now I'm not gonna be able to open diddle. Normally I have been using like a salmon, colored, maybe it could be defined as peach, colored concealer for the past couple of months and it does a body good, I'm not gonna lie. Sort of like my skin color, but not, because it's not my skin color, but it's sort of like my skin color. You know what I mean. I'm a pretty, pretty princess. I feel like normally I just kind of paint it 
like on my nose too. I mean, just basically all over my face, like just wherever I want to draw some cool little patterns. You know, maybe we'll give myself like a little kind of like chicken foot looking design on my forehead. Also, um, TMI, I feel like I've got this like wayward chin hair and like sometimes I touch my chin and I feel it, but then I go to like cut it off and I can't find it again. So if you see that chin hair, point it out to me, let me know. Maybe I can take care of it one of these days. Up next, we've got a brand new spongy sponge that I'm very excited to try. It is from Morphe and they are the mini stiletto sponges. So I'm gonna go moisten this because I don't think dunking it in my cup of coffee is a very good plan. <sighs> Might wake me up though if I just like put an eyedropper of caffeine right into my eyeball. Don't do that, you guys, okay. It's not painfully obvious already. Like don't, don't do anything that I do. Don't take anything I say seriously. I am quite surprised with the expansion of this sponge. Look at this, dry, wet. Just tiny hair just kind of crawling on my wrist. It's so distracting. Oh, found it. Dab, dab, dab. This concealer, impressed. Smooth consistency. And I feel like Maybe it's just a little bit more natural looking on me. Like I feel like the concealer that I've been using for these past couple of months is almost a little too bright salmon-y for my skin. And sometimes you can kind of like see it under my foundation on days that I'm wearing lighter coverage foundation. But I kind of feel like this one is almost a little more uh, natural. Still can't find that wayward chin hair. It's time for foundation and uh, it has taken a lot of um, self-control to not use this foundation before now. I think I showed it to you guys before in a PR unboxing or maybe on Snoop Shoot or something. Uh, it is the brand new foundation from MAC and it is called the Next to Nothing Face Color and boy do I hope that this is going to be the right shade for me. It's in the shade light. To apply it, you guys, I'm so excited to use this brush. I've seen it everywhere and I finally got one for myself. It is the Eloise uh, Teardrop Foundation Brush. I think people have been doing videos about this being like, it's the world's biggest makeup brush. And maybe it is, I don't know. Is this the thumbnail? Wait, do I just go like that and then put a red circle around it? I never apply my foundation with a brush. So maybe I'm about to do something stupid right now, but don't you like squeeze the product onto the bristles? Or no, do you just like squeeze it onto your face and then rub it like that? I feel like I've seen somebody on Instagram do that. I'm also just kind of like a little borderline triggered, truthfully, to be applying my foundation with a brush. I feel like it's kind of, ugh. Like, do you go back after and like clean up your boo-boos with a sponge do you have to wash this every day also like i feel like kind of my face looks better than when i started a couple minutes ago i kind of also feel like this foundation matches my skin color teller is this a good match can i wear this or will i be ostracized for not wearing the correct shade of foundation for my skin i love everything about this um brush but i feel like it's really gonna take practice and finesse like for a year or so I couldn't figure out how to make a beauty blender work just to give you a little idea about that. I don't think it's like bad. I just think it's going to take some practice. So I'm going to switch and finish applying my foundation with the regular size stiletto sponge from Morphe. I'm really liking this. Uh, I don't have an affiliate code. I just feel like using this sponge. Is that okay? Looking at my face up close when I was just like moistening this sponge. I think maybe I prematurely kind of judged uh, this brush because I feel like it really did blend out the foundation pretty dang well, except for like on my nose. I just realized where I have seriously gone wrong with this makeup look today is a couple months ago, I started putting on my makeup backwards where I started with eyeshadow first and then I did like concealer foundation and all that jazz. Because literally, like, I have never had an eyeshadow in my life that doesn't have fallout. Like, when people talk about eyeshadow palettes and they're like, it has fallout. I'm like, well, what doesn't, though? I'm going to go ahead and bake my face 
with this Morphe translucent powder. Never used this before. Pretty excited to do it. No, I'm not. I'm lying. I'm going to do my cream contour. And for that, I'm going to use the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. And I'm not sure if this is um, Hoola Light or if it's just Hoola. I think it's just Hoola. I love doing cream contour. I honestly live for this experience because I like to go like this with my face. I know it looks bad. It's ridiculous. It's bad. Like doing duck lips or like weird expressions. Bad. Uh, but I like to do it anyway. So I'm going to keep doing it. Carving my cheeks like a jack-o'-lantern. Do I look sexy? I'm going to take that mini stiletto sponge and just blend this out. Just blend. Just blend, 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 blend. This blends out like butter. Is it a good look? I have no perception, I feel, sometimes, about what's good and what's bad. Lines are so blurred these days. I feel like that's a Bob Dylan lyric. Like, really, I feel like it's a Bob Dylan lyric. I don't see any harsh lines. Do you? Do you? Do you see them? Back to what I was saying, baking my face with the Morphe Translucent Powder. Never done that before. I mean, never used this before. Obviously, I've baked my face before. I even made a video on it, like, two years ago. Mmm, <laughs> seems about right. I feel like this powder is so fine that you're, like, kind of not seeing the baking happening. This powder feels like nothing, honestly, which I'm glad. If you've been here for any amount of time, you know that I love the feeling of nothing. Mostly, I just want to feel nothing. This isn't a cry for help. I'm just talking about makeup. Now it is time to start applying that eyeshadow. I've got this cool makeup brush bag from Skinny Dip London. And inside are brand new makeup brushes from Bedellum Tools. I've never tried this makeup brush company before. They have pink bristles and little pink handles and they feel like really nice and smooth. I'm so excited for the palette that I'm going to be using today because I'm going to be using the uh, some of the eyeshadows from the Basquiat Urban Decay collaboration. I feel blessed to have this collection. I know that it has been selling out absolutely everywhere, but I am such a huge fan of Basquiat's art. This was like a collection that was important to me. This is probably like the most excited that I have been for a product launch in a really long time. And dependent on when this video is going up, I'm doing a kind of like in-depth First Impression Friday review of this vault here. So I don't know if you guys are watching this video like before or after that. And I want to use the um, natural shades. This is the palette that we're going to be using today. Look at the packaging. It is amazing. It feels so amazing. It feels like canvas and it actually does come with a makeup brush in here. I just also love how this palette is like vertically oriented. Is anybody else just like a sucker for little details like that? The first shade that I'm going to go in with is this one right here which is called Levitation. Does anybody else just have like the oiliest eyeballs in the world? Like I did not ask for this. It doesn't matter like kind of how much I try and like set them with powder either. They're just like a consistent um, source of oil. Dude, this shadow is bomb. Next color that we are gonna use in here is this orangey shade called not for sale. Just placing this color like kind of in my crease. These shadows are amazing. Like I don't know what other people on the internet have been saying about them. I know sometimes I have like completely different thoughts and feelings about the quality of cosmetics than other people end up having. Um, but I'm really jazzed. I am loving these. They feel great to me. Here we go one more time. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go now. It's like an in sync song if you want to sing along, you know the words. Like this is going to take a lot of blending. I feel like it looks so unblended, but I'm also down. I like it. <laughs> I'll just stop here. Oh, not me. Like every other makeup look I ever do. Is blending necessary? I never knew what blending was until I got onto YouTube. I literally just uh, always did my eyeshadow like this and then stopped 
but I feel like I was able to do my makeup a lot faster when I was living life that way. I feel like I was actually able to do my makeup in a reasonable amount of time instead of the five hours that it takes me to do now that I'm like, ugh, blending, 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 blending. Time for some blending. I'm not even gonna film that because I just feel like it's gonna take me way too long. I'm just gonna try and blend this out and I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. I think it's pretty blenderoni so far and if it's not perfect hopefully i'm sitting far enough away from you to where you can't really tell if it's perfect or not the last shade that i'm gonna use my finger to just smudge pop a little bit in the center is going to be um influence which is this one right here bam 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 actually you guys surprising amount of not fallout up next is going to be eyeliner. For that, I'm gonna use this Yves Saint Laurent. I think it's called the Eye Duo Smoker in shade four. It's got like this burgundy shade on it. I threw away the box. This was in my latest Sephora haul video, so I swatched it once, threw away the box. Haven't used it on my eye yet. I think I'm going to just go in there with this and do like a very um, like kind of delicate eyeliner. I'm gonna use a brush. Because I feel like for me, it is easier to use an angled brush to apply eyeliner than it is to just try and like draw it on. You know what I mean? I've got the mirror like one half inch away from my nose. I think we can move on to just setting the rest of my face. So I'm going to go through with that same Morphe translucent powder and just use like light circular motions. I feel like for some reason my forehead right here is so patchy and I don't know why oh my gosh my whole nose is patchy it's almost like just in that one location um my foundation is just like not adhering to my skin up next is going to be going through with some powder contour and for that i'm going to be using the morphe 9 bz palette probably like a couple of them like this one this one that one just like mixing them together i really enjoy when my bronzer has just like a little tinge of almost like a blushiness to it i'm gonna start off with this like darker shade first on this angle brush now i'm gonna go in with this middle shade which does have a little bit of those sort of rosier tones that i was just describing and i'm just gonna kind of go back over the areas that i just applied the first bronzer and you know just kind of make it look a little bit more blended a little more natural i can't be the only person who uses like three and four different contours at a time add a little bit of the uh powder contour onto my nose for brows today i'm going to be using a brand new brow gel from makeup forever and this is called the tinted brow groomer so I think we're gonna see a little bit of color in this and also like kind of like an all-in-one product. You know, it's gonna like set the brows, color the brows, groom the brows, read the brows a bedtime story. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm kind of borderline triggered. <laughs> this looks like it has those little fibers in it. And I'm not gonna lie, those things like scare me. One time I got one of the fibers stuck in my eyeball and I had to like go have it removed. We're gonna use this Makeup Forever product instead. This is also new and it's called the Brow Liner. I feel like this is gonna be just like a challenge because this is basically like a liquid eyeliner but for your brows. Like it's probably gonna be super intense. You see what I'm saying? This is really cool. I feel like this is a good shade for my brows. My legs hurt so bad from like sitting on them. I don't know if I ever told y'all the story, but this is just like one way in which my unruliness and inability to follow instructions has like <laughs> messed me up. It's cause like my teachers used to always be like, okay, so I sit with my legs in an arrow. Do you know what I mean? That is how I sit. All of my teachers always try to tell me that that was like not a healthy way to sit and that I was supposed to sit cross-legged. And I was like, no, that hurts my legs to sit like that. And I kind of like, I don't know. I feel like I was like 50-50 lying. Like A, when I was a kid, for some reason sitting cross-legged did really hurt my legs. Um, but also I just wanted to sit in a, in a special snowflake kind of way. And so like they never like forced me to sit in a different way. But now I do feel 
feel like it must be like legitimately bad for your legs because like my knees and my legs hurt me all the time and especially if I do sit like this for long periods of time it really does hurt so kids maybe listen to your teachers and stuff does this brow look darker than this brow I feel like this whole side of my face just looks darker than this side why is that Maybe because I have no skills. I still have a lot of fun and I still love makeup. I really like this product though. I feel like it's like very easy to use. It doesn't make your brows feel like stiff and gross. It looks nice. And um, I thought it was gonna be difficult to use, but it's not. Next, we are gonna be using two new products from IT Cosmetics. So we are gonna be using this Heavenly Skin One Sweep Makeup Brush and I am so excited about this one and then we are going to be using one of the new confidence in your glow palettes today i'm going to be using the shade instant natural glow so this actually has like a highlight blush and bronzer in it and you are just supposed to be able to do like one sweep and kind of like do everything that you need i'm not gonna do that though i'm just gonna try and pick up just this blush shade oh my gosh i am living for this blush shade and this brush is so soft and i love the shape of it i don't know once again i don't kind of know what order my videos are going up in but i just opened this in a pr mail unboxing and i was most excited out of all the things i got that day to get this brush and now that I'm actually using it for the first time, I'm loving it. I feel like also I'm always going overboard on blush. I could just keep like layering and layering and layering and layering and layering. Yep, till we've done what we've done now. I really love both of these products. 10 out of 10. A way to recommend now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go through with these same couple of shadows levitation and not for sale and i'm going to uh just take the little bits of makeup that are left over on the brushes that i've already been using and i'm just gonna kind of like smoke out the under part of my eye i feel like that looks better now i'm gonna go back through with this liner brush and that yves saint laurent um eye smoker crayon and give myself a little bit of liner on my lower lash line it's time for one of my other favorite steps which is highlighter and for that today i'm going to be using this brand new anastasia beverly hills aurora palette look at these shades you guys ever since i got it and i should have put it in my monthly favorites but I'm stupid and I forgot. It's the Nicole Guerrero um, Anastasia Beverly Hills collab. I have been loving the highlight in the shade Kitty Cat. Just FYI for future, uh, future info. And I think today I'm going to use this shade, which is Lyra. It's very iridescent, but it also... Um, I feel like it's kind of more of like a gold tone, bronzy tone. So I'm gonna go through and highlight my Cupid's bow. I really love to give myself a sparkle mustache. Like I go beyond the Cupid's bow. I also wanna put a little highlight here. So maybe it looks like I've kinda got like a little bit of a runny nose going on. I feel like that's a great look, you know? Cheekies, cheekies on fleekies. Some people say I wear too much highlight, but you guys, I just want you to know, there's no such thing i want everyone to be able to see my highlight i want people who can't even see me to see my highlight like when i walk into a room i want my highlight to be the first thing that you see you see my face my eyes my identity you see all that next i just want to blind you with my highlight first is that enough highlight is it is it Wow. that was like a cool zombie dance i just did right there ah. then what i do is i just like okay I'll, I'll show you what i do instead of telling you mm. we used to have this thing in writing school that was like show don't tell where you're just supposed to like when you're writing your story you're supposed to not tell people I, that doesn't really make a lot of sense now but i thought i would just kind of like give you guys a quote from college to make y'all think i'm like smart that i know things and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just go up with the highlight just on this side of my nose not on both sides just this one side i want this side of my face to look shinier i don't know why for some reason the phrase pooper scooper just came into my mind wasn't that like a device wasn't that like an as seen on tv device didn't people use pooper scooper somebody refresh my memory about 
um, the historical relevance of Pooper Scooper. I do have a new mascara in here. I'm going to apply that real, real quick. This is the Ico Black Magic Mascara. It appeals to me because it comes in a tube. And I feel like at some point I had this in my life before. I'm not sure if this is like new, new. I know I'm, I'm pretty sure it's been on the market for a while, but it's a new one now and it's new to me now and I need mascara. So also look at this. This is amazing. For some reason, this mascara comes with a complimentary guitar pick with a tiny adorable face on it. This brush, it's got a nice curvature to it. I like it, 10 points for that. Okay, uh, I'm gonna conserve battery and I'm just gonna gl 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 go like that, you know? And I feel like it's not fun ever to watch anyone apply mascara because everyone like, ugh, like makes these really abhorred faces. So you're not missing much. Pleasantly in love with this mascara. I feel like it was not clumpy at all. I loved the curvature of the brush. I feel like it gave me like nice, soft, very natural feathery lashes. But I'm gonna go a little unnatural today. I have literally been so obsessed with false eyelashes lately. Every time I have been applying makeup, I've also been applying false lashes. So today I'm going to use these which are called Midnight Meow and they are by Nikki Philippi. Philippi, right? I hope I'm saying your name right, girl. Uh, because Team YouTube and like I always say, I'm just like so excited to support fellow creators on this platform. These lashes look gorgeous. I think I'm gonna trim them down just a little bit because I hate when lashes rub on the inner corners. Um, but these are by Eyelore and I use this brand of lashes all the time. I always find that they have really um, lightweight bands so they don't feel irritating to my eyes. And I also love the glue as well. Like just the glue it comes with is marvelous. I'm trying to remember where I got these little scissors from but I use these for my lash application and they are so cute they came from like the brow gal maybe I just trim them down and then apply the lash glue that the lashes come with and I don't overdo it because generally you know I'm only wearing my makeup for five six seven hours at a time so I don't need to like glue them on for life, you know? I do a really unhealthy thing, which is called blowing on my lashes, just to get the glue a little bit tacky. And then I just throw them on there. I love these. They're so lightweight. They feel so comfortable, but I feel like there's so much drama and volume going on here, right? These are amazing. I love the other lashes that she designed as well. I don't remember what those were called. I feel like it was something else having to do with cats. But once I've sort of like pinched the lashes into place, I just go ahead and use a spoolie brush and just sort of like pop them up a little bit, um, give it a little bit of extra curl, make the lashes look a little bit more natural. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm obsessed with these lashes. I feel like this is like one of my favorite new products that I've used today. We are on the home run stretch. So now I'm gonna just finish off my lips. So the first product I'm gonna be using is a new pencil that I got from Bite Beauty. I took it out of the box a couple of months ago, but for some reason I've never grabbed this shade yet. It is in the shade 12. Honestly, I almost feel like I could stop there as usual. My lips look a little bit dry and crusty. Uh, no worry. We will just Photoshop that out later. Last product that I'm going to be using today is a MAC lipstick to finish it all off. And I'm going to be using the Laura Lee lipstick from the new, um, what do they call it? Like social influencer collaboration. Because once again, team YouTube. It's almost the exact shade of the pencil that I just applied. Perfect, because I was really loving that color and I was a little bit sad to be covering it up. Okay, you guys, so uh, that is it. Please let me know in the comments down below if you liked this full face of first impressions type of video. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Oh, you know what? I forgot that I was going to top it all off with a finishing skin mist, so for that, I'm gonna be using the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Dude, Tatcha products just smell so good. 
They don't taste so good though when you're talking and spraying at the same time. There was really not a product that I tested today that I did not like. I definitely feel like for me personally, it will take a little bit more finesse uh, to continue using like a foundation brush versus a sponge. I kind of at this point don't know why I'm having such severe makeup separation on my forehead, on my nose. I don't know if the primer uh, or the foundation doesn't work too well with my skin or maybe for some reason those products don't work too well together. Standout hits for me definitely would be the Basquiat palette. I also am a huge fan of the Yves Saint Laurent Eye Duo Smoker in shade 4. Um, love this Ico Black Magic Mascara. Love the Laura Lee lipstick. I also love the Bite Beauty pencil. I mean, like I said, there's really nothing that I applied on my face today that I would not happily use again and again and again. So I feel like we had a really successful run today. Maybe my eyeshadow is a little bit unblended, but hey, when did that ever stop me? Thank you guys so, so much for being here today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!